Hey guys, um, really didn't think I was going to end up making another um, long video until probably June or so because I wasn't planning on, you know, having any, going out and purchasing any uh, large amounts of comics, you know, maybe a couple here and there, but ran into a deal I just could not pass up. Um, my local comic shop was having a uh, moving sale. And everything in the store was 75% off, which uh, ended up making a long box $25. So I went by and uh, filled up a long box and uh, got a few more books. I think I ended up getting, it was right around 340 books for about $30. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, Action Comics. Number 890, which is part of the Blackest Night uh, storyline. We got The Darkness, number 12, and 13. I uh, got The Darkness, number 11. This was a later series. I uh, got The Darkness, number 31. Picked a few um, JLA, got JLA number six, number 29, number 30, and number 31. We got a uh, Who's Who, DC Who's Who update, 1988. Volume 1. Got an uh, issue of Tomb Raider. This black cover, and it's actually Tomb Raider number 21. I've always liked old pulp heroes, so I picked up a few issues of Doc Savage. This is Doc Savage number 13, 14. 16 and well, excuse me 15 and 16 uh, picked up uh, the Spectre number 10 part of the Millennial storyline I always like this next character is Dr. Uh, Solar I liked him from uh, when the Gold Key used to have Gold Key comics of him back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So I picked up the uh, Dark Horse series. This is number two. And number three. <clears throat> picked up Kid Eternity from the Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo imprint number nine. And number ten. Got Grimjack, number eight, number eleven, number twenty-seven. Got uh, Roger Corman's Black Scorpion from Blue Water Comics, number two. Got uh, Legend of Isis, Roger Corman's Black Scorpion team up number number one. Legends of the DC Universe number nine with uh, Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Legends of the DC Universe number thirteen. Number fifteen. Number 17. Number 34. Got Hulk. Number 14. 18. 25. Incredible Hulk number 
601. I uh, picked these up, uh, just covers look kind of cool. Witch Finder from Image, number one. Number two. And number three. Um, again, going back to the old pulp characters, I got the Shadow Annual number one. Got Shadow number five from the late 80's series. Uh, I'd heard people kinda uh, talking about this series, talking about how great it was, so I picked them up. Got uh, Supreme number one, this is volume two. And Supreme number three. Go ahead and move these out of the way. Got DC Marvel All Access number one. The Spectre from the mid 2000s number two. Picked up an older Warlord from the late 70s number 42. Picked this one up just. I thought the cover looked kind of cool. It's uh, Dial H number 8. Always liked Deathlock, so picked up Deathlock Special number 3. I thought this was a Doctor Doom comic. When I looked a little closer, it's actually Doctor Strange. It's from the uh, Midnight Suns run that Marvel did in the uh, early 90s, late 80s with Doctor Doom. Been seeing this comic in boatloads, so I just thought I'd finally just pick one up. Got the pit number one. Uh, never heard of this one, but thought I'd pick it up. Just again, cool cover. Dark Child Legacy from Wild Storm number three. Uh, picked up the first issue of a mini series from the late '80s with X-Men and Alpha Flight number one. Got a Super Soldier number one from Amalgam. Uh, got Fathom, Dawn of War number two. Always liked H.P. Uh, Lovecraft and some of the weird stuff that he did, so picked up The Calling, Cthulhu Chronicles number one from Boom Studios. Also got number three. And number four. Got uh, Fall of Cthulhu Nemesis number two. Found this old issue, couldn't pass it up. This uh, Stalker number three from the mid 70s. I mean, come on, you've got uh, Steve Ditko and Wally Wood teaming up on a book. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, Power of Shazam. Number one, uh, Universe X, number zero. Just like the cover, so the story is actually pretty good too. So, got Batman New 52 Annual, number two. I, don't have, I haven't picked up very much of the New 52 stuff, so, but I can get it cheap. I figure I don't have anything to lose. Got Dark Horse Comics, number two, with the Robocop cover by um, Mignola. Got uh, Dark Horse Presents number 33. I just like Michael T. Gilbert's Mr. Monster. I mean, what can I say? I just think he's pretty cool. And uh, Gilbert's kind of over the top with some of the stuff. He's ultraviolet and puts a lot of humor in him. So. Got uh, What If number 37. <clears throat> which is actually a pretty cool story. Not really familiar with the storyline that this references, but uh, kind of got the gist of it with this one. Uh, what if, uh, from the, I believe the second series, number six, uh, what if the X-Men had lost Inferno? It's uh, a little strange, but it's actually uh, pretty cool for what it is. Got Marvel Team-Up, number 147, with uh, Spider-Man Human Torch. 
Uh, people had referenced this book and talked about that it's the first appearance of somebody and, uh, you know, not really familiar with it all that much, but it's New Mutants, number 16. Got uh, Captain Adam, number 33. I just, I like the cover, uh, the uh, homage to uh, the old Infantino um, drawing with, you know, Batman and, and Robin. And this kind of, you know, does a little take on that. Got Super Soldier, Man of War, number one. Uh, several people I've watched their videos have kind of talked this series up, and actually it's pretty entertaining. I got uh, Jim Starlin's Breed, number four. Got Emma Frost, number four. Number six. And number seven. Greg Land is very quickly becoming one of my favorite artists. Got The Flash, number 231. Got uh, DC First, number one, with uh, Alan Scott and Hal Jordan, which I've always liked. Uh, Hal Jordan, Alan Scott as Green Lantern, so it was a pretty cool read, actually. Got DC First, Man of Steel versus the original Flash in their first race. Got Jenna Jameson, Shadow Hunter, number two. And number three. And I don't think any explanation is necessary. The stories are really stupid, but the artwork is pretty decent, so. Uh, I've always wanted to read this comic ever since I saw it on the newsstand back uh, many, many moons ago, so I picked it up. Uh, it's Vigilante number three, where he fights Cyborg from the New Teen Titans. Picked up the new series, Jonah Hex number nine. Alpha Flight number three. Marvel Superheroes. Number 64, and reprints some of the Hulk's old adventures. Got uh, Transmetropolitan, number 48. Let me get these out of the way. I uh, wasn't familiar with this book, but after reading it, it's actually pretty cool. If you can find it cheap, I recommend it. It's called Loveless. This is number 8 from Vertigo. I uh, got The Defenders, number 120. I'm not really a fan of Warlord of Mars, John Carter, but uh, I'm glad I picked this up because this story is actually really, really cool. This uh, annual number one from 1977. Got uh, Earth 2, number 28. You know, New 52 stuff, eh. If you like it, you like it. Me, it wasn't my cup of tea, at least not this issue. Got the Red Circle Inferno number one, uh, update of the old 1940s MLJ characters. Found a couple of issues of World of Krypton miniseries from the early 80s. Got number two and number three. Got All Out War number two. Uh, I got the Immortal Doctor Fate with Pasco and Giffen, number two. Uh, Doctor Fate, number 38. Got the Death of Lady Vampire from Blackout Comics, number one. Terra Obscura, volume two, number one. I've always liked uh, Tom Strange, so thought I'd pick him up. Excuse me. Tom Strong. Sorry. Uh, got New X-Men. Number 117. Number 127. 
166. I like that cover. Kind of looks like a movie poster. 169. And 170. X Men number 186. Number 188. 191. 192 and 193 X-Men number 202 and 203 I really like that cover, I think that's pretty cool got uh, 204 I believe that's 208 I also got 209 X-Men number 212 number 223 number 225 this is number 244 248 and 249. I like this one. This actually got the uh, gate to the concentration camp and it's got in German above it, uh, work makes you free. Kind of creepy knowing what we know about those places. Uh, X-Men number 252. <clears throat> Not exactly sure what this one was. I didn't write it down on the outside, but it's a special X-Men anniversary issue. It's uh, something to do with the Onslaught uh, series or story. Anyway, pretty cool art, pretty cool story. X-Men, Children of the Atom, book one. This is really good. If you like Steve Rouge, you've got to pick this up. He does an outstanding job in this particular series. That X-Men, number one. Let's see here. X-Men... Heck, it doesn't have a number on the outside. X-Men number 50. X-Men Chronicles number 2. X-Men number 198. Number 216. Number 238. Number 281, number 286, love that cover, and 287. We'll have to end it here. My camera's about to run out of uh, storage space, so stay tuned for part two. Uh, we've got some really good stuff coming up, so hang on, and I'll be back with another one pretty quick. Thanks.